<laughs> record ako dito din sa ano sa sa phone na sa gani ni audio recording send ko na lang din po sa kanila pag pag na i don't remember sige sige clarify lang natin yung ano nila hindi sila magbibigay ng exam right hindi kayo magte-test students you will just get the Uh, grades nila, prelim and midterm. So, para... Actual grades yan, ma'am. Actual grades. Yes po. Nakalagay kasi sa scope kay score score daw ng test. Anong test? Anong test okay. yun? Nabasa ako kanina na ano po, pre-test and post-test. Yeah. Okay. Base yan ang ginaisip nila, ang pre-test, post-test. Ang pre-test, post-test yung actual grades. Okay. Sige. Yeah. Now... Uh, January, March 2022. Uh, let's remove na lang the definition of terms. After the scope and the limitation, you'll have the RRL. Okay, transfer the RRL. And then, next methodology, can we remove the chapter 2? We no longer place chapter 2. Diretso na siya, methodology. Okay, research design. This is pre-test and post-test quasi-experimental design. Radiologic. Kindly discuss what quasi-experimental research design is. Do not forget the citation for that. Um, what else? Bakit quasi-experimental? Again, bakit quasi-experimental ito? Anyone? Okay, may I ask Miss Miss Benedicto to answer the question? Para po mamalaman namin po yung kakayahan ng students po kung hanggang saan po yung kaya nilang ibigay yung best nila po para sa akad po nila kung mag-grow po po ba ay yung akad nila or ay mag improve po ba yung akad nila sa tulong ng mga mga speaker na ibibigay namin or sa or sa mga tulong na rin sa kanilang pagsisikap po. Okay. Anyone to add? May, con you, may control sila dito, ma'am, no? Meron silang control. Sa alin po? Sa, sa date? Sa, sa study nila? May experimental group and control group? Tama ba? Every yes, week. Apo, uh, ma'am. At ano po, ma'am, additional na lang po, ma'am, na meron po kaming intervention and as well as meron pa kaming form ng questionnaire po. Questionnaire? Questionnaire. Para saan yung questionnaire? Para po sa mga ano, sa mga freshman students po. Anong laman ng questionnaire? Ikakandak pa po namin ma'am kung yung mga ano po nila ma'am, yung mga kakayahan po nila ma'am kung ano. What is that? <laughs> What is that? I think if you have your questionnaire, ang laman yan, demographic profile lang ng respondents ninyo. Ano pa kaya? <laughs> Can you open your cam? Please, para ka ba lumig na apa mo diri? Miss Kambonga and Miss Kirol, kindly turn on your camera. Ayan. Mm, sige, quasi-experimental ito. Siguro walang random assignment. Sige. Okay. Kindly discuss na lang what quasi-experimental is sa research design. Ang research local... Ang research local is the local of the study. That's GSDMSFI. So you have to... Um, describe saan yung Jensen doctors, ano yung ino-offer na 
na mga courses, ano yung mga learning resources natin sa school. So, do not in... Your internet connection is unstable. Okay, basig nawala ko. Um, Naputo ka okay. naman. I hope nakuha yun. Um... And then, you remove na yung objectives ng study ninyo. Bakit uh, may objective pa ng study ninyo sa research local? And then, kindly transfer the map sa appendices. Tapos dito, nawala na talaga ang format. Hindi na naka-double space. Okay? Sampling technique. Hindi na din kayo magka-cluster na sampling technique. Ano na ito? Uh, lahat ng freshmen na ano ito no na rad tech so hindi na tala, hindi na siya magsasam magsasampling talaga kasi whole population ng first year uh, total population na lang po ma'am oh yeah oo tapos um, siguro random assignment na lang groups and then uh, sa treatment group and sa ano yun? Control group. Ganun na lang ang gagawin ninyo. Ma'am, um, paano po kami makaselect po, ma'am, kung ilan po yung uh, experimental group or ano? Ma'am, mula lang siya, ma'am. Ma'am, Race. Yes. Di ba nagsuggest ako kanina mag one group pre-test, post-test design sila? No need na ng, okay. ano, no need na ng control group. Okay, kasi nasa SOP nila. <laughs> Merong control group. Balikan pala natin yung SOP. Oo. One group lang pala ito. Mag one group, pre-test, post-test na lang tayo kasi entire population. And then wala ng control group. Kindly remove na lang the control group in your SOP kasi one group lang pala ito. And then please um, revise also the research design. One group na pre-test and post-test. So isang grupo na lang pala ito. Wala pala kayong control. Okay. And then, research instrument. Ano pa research instrument nakalagay dito? Effectiveness. Wala naman na siguro kayong gagawin na questionnaire except for the collection of the demographic profile of your respondents. So, yung ano na lang, file na lang coming from the registrar ng academic performance, yung grade ng mga participants ninyo. Participants na lang tawag natin sa kanila, ha? Ma'am, pagawin kasi natin sila ng, ano ma'am, uh, guide, top, topic guide, parang ganon, na part sa appendices na lang siguro na ipalagay. Yung sabi ko natin, yung study habits, time management, and other, yung mga topics, God, and mga key topics para doon sa gagawin nilang ano, um, development activity, student development activity. Uh, parang ano din, project outline, ganun? <laughs> Oo, parang topic outline lang. Topic outline. Okay. Ay, they may include that in the uh, research instrument guru din, pero i-ano lang. Appendices, appendices lang, ma'am. Ah, sige. Sa Pwede na siya sa appendices na lang, oo. Sige. Appendices, tapos ang ilagay na lang nila sa research instrument is yung... Uh, meron silang ipapa, ikokolek kasi nila yung demographic profile and also the file coming from the registrar sa grades ng mga students, prelim and midterm. Ganyan na lang. And then, wala kayong ano, ay, na, itong ethical consideration, last part ito ng ating methodology. Okay? So, after ito ng data analysis. Pero sa ethical consideration, the first thing that you need to place there is you will be submitting your study for the review sa Research Ethics Committee. And paisa-isa na lang ng ethical principles that you need to consider sa study ninyo. For example, the informed consent. Tapos i-discuss nyo how are you going to secure the informed consent. And then another principle naman, for example, privacy and confidentiality. I-discuss nyo then how are you going to uphold the privacy and confidentiality of your participants. So, 
Ganun yung nakalagay sa ethical consideration. Sa data gathering procedure, okay, permission, This is when you should really publicize the event. Ano lang tayo? Permission tapos preparation. Tatlong phases lang tayo para uniform tayo lahat. So like this one. Phase one. Permission yan siya. So i-discuss niyo dyan kanino kayo mag-ask ng permission. Ang phase two, preparation. Preparation. So, discuss ni John, ano yung mga necessary preparations na kailangan yung gawin? You have to make your topic outlines and so on. Mag-invite pa kayo ng speaker. Ano pa yung mga preparations ni John? And then, the last part will be the phase three. This will be the data collection. So, how are you going to collect the data of your study? Yung, mga, yung data na kailangan nyo ha, demographic profile, and then the grades of the students. And then, statistical analysis. Future tenses pa tayo lahat. Ha? Hindi pa naman kaya tapos sa study ninyo. Central tendency. Huh? Particularly the mean. Wait lang. Pearson R. Bakit Pearson R? Let me ask, bakit Pearson R ang nakalagay dito? Anyone? Miss Kambonga, bakit Miss Kambonga? Nawala siya. Bakit Pearson R? Miss Kirol na lang, bakit Pearson R? Wala. Okay. Ganito ha, ang statistical analysis ninyo. Number one, you will be getting the demographic profile of your participants. So for the demographic profile, you will be using frequency, distribution, and percentage. Isa-isa nyo siya dyan. And then, for the academic performance of the student, I think you will get the mean. So that's the second one. And then the third one, since ang question nyo, is there a significant difference before and after? Kasi pre-test and post-test tayo, paired t-test ito, hindi Pearson R. Kasi Pearson R is used for correlation. Okay? Nakuha yun, paired t-test. Paired t-test yun ha. So yes, wala na itong questionnaire. Informed consent niyo, do not forget the topic outline. Okay. Uy, wala kayong list ng references. Saan yung references niyo? Wala miss ko lang. Or wala talaga? Yeah, wala talaga. Yung references niyo, do not forget. Ha, pakidagdag na lang. You have additional, ma'am, Gretel and ma'am Rinien. Nabisi na si ma'am Rinien. Okay na po, ma'am. Uh, please na lang po paad ng references ninyo. You know, make sure to cite all your references included and also make sure to improve your paper po kay medyo daghan pa taog need revise and um, make sure to work as a team. So I think dili mo naga work as a team. So members, um, Make sure to help your leader and leaders. Leader, make sure to work with your members. Kaya para kung, again, ulit taani, ulit tag-defense by next sem, no? you all know what to answer. Kaya as I have observed po, um, tig isa lang po, or kanang kung kinsa lang ang nakabalo ang feeling na ko isa lang or duha lang ang nag-work on ani na paper. So, please make sure to work as a team. Oh, let me just remind you, no, uh, whatever your grade, whatever grade 
dere is the grade of all. So, luoy kaayo ang isa lang kabuk nag-effort. No? Yung bis na deserve, unta niya 1.75, but since na drag siya mga kagrupo, mabawi ang iyahang kakapoy. So, kaya na siya. Um, just make sure to to work together as a group po, ha? So, dagan-dagan pa tag improve So, I think, na-take note ba Tanan, na take note niya tanan from the first, uh, from the title of the class. Lagat pa tao po lang yun. Sige. Si Ma'am Renyan, naki gusto idagdag, Ma'am? So, katagpag ako observance, Ma'am. Uh, some of the students lang ay nag- to ba ang familiar ang paper. Then, uh, so, ako, ano din, uh, dili kayo to familiar din sa Kwasai. No? So, they must define everything so that uh, para mas, as a reader, nga dili, sorry, as a reader, nga dili ka familiar sa uh, papers or sa forms of study, mas maintindihan na ito ilahang study. Then, yon at hopefully they have take note all the comments na binigay ng panels kasi nga yun marami silang dapat baguhin sa entire paper nila so yun lang ma'am yeah, let's 